What's up everybody? Welcome to Small Family Adventures. Once again, we are here with a haul and uh, we did pretty good. We went to a salvage um, a salvage yard. Grocery store. Oh, grocery store. We didn't go to a salvage yard. That would be yucky. Um, and uh, this is really Debbie's thing. She was uh, researching it and I'll let her tell you a little bit more about it. Well, we needed to save some money with everything that's been going on with us lately. So I'm like, the easiest way I know is to try and get our grocery bill down. And I, I've heard about grocery store, um, salvage grocery stores through like the, the cheapskate program on TLC and just people that say that they've saved money in places like this. But I didn't think there was one anywhere near us. But I did find one, so I wanted to check it out and see what we could save. And it was kind of near us too, uh, what, half, half hour, hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Not far at all, a good drive for, uh, for us to have kind of like a date drive. Um, so we have all this and uh, we did some figuring, some number crunching. In our heads. In our heads <laughs> and on the calculator, Miss Elizabeth's behind the camera and she's total things up. But we kind of, kind of gave a ballpark pick, figure what these things would cost. All together, Elizabeth, what, what was the total? $106. A hundred and six dollars. So yeah, and we got a lot of stuff here. Um, and the lady there was really nice. She carried everything out for us. Even she, well not everything, but she helped. Uh, she carried me out in the fireman's carry. <laughs> okay, she didn't do that. I don't think she did that. <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of good stuff. We got one of these, uh, this is one of Debbie's favorite things. Chicken broth. Um, she puts it in her coffee every morning. Okay, she doesn't do that. But uh, we got four of these bad boys. What was it? Four for a dollar on this I, one? I believe it was four. Or four, four for four three. Five. Either way, it was a very good deal. Very much worth it. Um, we got some spirally noodles, four packs of that. Cereal, uh, some kashi gra uh, whole grain flakes. I'm going to use this for some bran muffins. Uh, I have a really good recipe that my mom used to make. I don't think we can find the cereal that she used, so I'm going to uh, substitute this for that. And then some honey bunches of oats. Um, being Italian, we can't have enough uh, red sauce, right? Um, what else do we point out? Oh, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter. We have a peanut butter and jelly uh, monster here named Elizabeth. And, um, and so we got this goober, Smucker's goober. And the price is actually on the top. Is it? Yeah, these were, well, they were selling them at the salvage for three bucks a piece, but today they had them on sale two for three. So, and in the store, I think, what do we guess? Four bucks? Yeah. Four bucks a piece on these. So, um, and we might be again off on that. Uh, we've got some oatmeal single uses. The girls really love that. Something if they're running late for uh, for for school or something, they can can heat that up. But speaking of heating, we got three things of hot sauce. I've got uh, La Victoria, the uh, taco green sauce. Elizabeth loves that one a lot. Um, but we also got a couple of regular hot sauces. These are kind of gourmet hot sauce. Lily's Q sauces, hot sauce. It all starts with a mountain of peppers left over from Lily's own hot pepper vinegar. After five full days of soaking these, peppers made the perfect base for the not too hot sauce. A blend of pimentos, cane sugar, and vinegar give it just the right amount of kick um, for all your favorite southern dishes. Very good. Um, I'm going to really enjoy that. And then we got this one, Lola's Fine Hot Sauce. This is the Flavor is called Carolina Reaper, so um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do some hot, hot sauce testing. Maybe some wings or something. That'll be for you and the girls. I'm not the hot sauce. Um, and it might just be Elizabeth and I, because I don't think Jacqueline <laughs> really likes the hot stuff too much. Uh, ranch, got some ranch, ranch, uh, really good stuff here. Um, good buy on these. What was it? Uh, two, two for a buck, I think. Um, it was on special. Um, some sea salt. We've never cooked with sea salt, and so this was marked down. Debbie, tell us what is the best buy out of all these? I would say it's the six packages of 
packages of tortillas for a buck. Six packages of tortillas, the fajita size. And um, so this is really good. Don't I've never tried the taste of these brands, so that'll be uh, that'll be a fun one. But uh, um, we eat burritos and, and stuff all the time. So um, beans. Oh. I would have actually got more if there had been more, but yeah, there's there wasn't enough. Yeah, they had another package, but they were gluten free, and uh, we like our gluten. <laughs> so. Here's something I want you to try. Look, what are those? These are pink beans. Have you ever had pink beans? We've never had those. Um, Debbie was saying she thought every bean was pretty much tasted the same. So we'll try them out. These were a really good price. Uh, can of garbanzo, sea salt, flour. Starting, we're learning to cook and make bread. Or at least I am. Um, and uh, so that's going to help us out there a lot. But uh, yeah, so um, did you put down, did you write down the thought? What, how much do you think we spent on this at the Salvage Grocery? Um, put it down in the comments there. Um, we have some tea. We got tea drinkers here too. Um, chai tea. Did I miss anything that, uh, that you wanted to show off, Debbie? No, I think that's everything. Okay. So uh, what did we spend on this? Do you remember? You remember, yeah. Elizabeth? How much? $34. $34. Actually, $34.50 technically, yeah. but a difference of savings of how much? About $72. $72 we saved. So, and there's no way we spent that on gas to uh, get there. So, really good savings. Good idea, Mom. And, uh, well, you're not my mom, but. Uh, you're the mother of my kids. And we will be going back, even if it's just monthly. Like, I mean, it right. cut our grocery bill down by at least half for a couple of weeks. They had some frozen plate, uh, bins in there too, but um, there was nothing in there that we wanted. Yeah. Some um, side dishes like deep fried mushrooms or something like that, onion rings. Uh, we were hoping there was a little bit more in the meat. I didn't actually see any savings when it came to the frozen stuff. And she has to make her money somewhere, so. Right, definitely. But definitely, we will definitely go back there again. But uh, that's our haul. By the way, they had other things besides food there. Just so you know, they had uh, dog food for your dog and cat food for your animals. They had... Um, Shampoo and conditioner and laundry soap. Candy, there's a lot of candy there. There too. was tons of candy. If you need candy, that's where to go. Because then you don't have to pay for a dollar for one sing single candy. Bar. Yeah, you know, we got just a ranch here, but there was shelves of this. That's why it was two for a buck. Yeah. Because they needed to get rid of we, it. We paid like, what, 50 cents for the, for the, uh, mail maybe and it was four bucks in the store we just checked it out because we went to another store right after oh no the mayo we spent two dollars oh two bucks they had a special well we didn't want it to go bad you could have got three for two dollars but so that would have been 75 cents right? well it was a dollar it's on tap a dollar uh, but we could have got two more for in, in for two bucks but we just it was just a lot to have in the house and we didn't want it to go bad um because so, we like mayo, but we don't like mayo like that. Right, exactly. So, um, so yeah, and uh, maybe we'll go back later with some other times. So.